Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave and welcome to this video where I'm going to quickly show you how to set up your MIDI keyboard. So say you've just bought yourself a keyboard which you've had bundled with a Live Lite or any version of Live. Then to set that up, what we'll do is we'll first place some sort of instrument actually onto a track just so we know that we're going to have some sort of sound come out. So I'll place a grand piano on this MIDI track here. We need to make sure that this is placed on MIDI and we can see that we've got our device here. And if I play with my computer keyboard using this button here, we can hear that's now working. So to set up a MIDI controller, all we have to do is go Live, Preferences, and then we go to the Link MIDI tab. And here we have Control Surfaces and MIDI controllers. And all we have to do is find whichever MIDI controller it is we want to use. So for me, this is the Complete Control Mark II, and we just turn Track on. And that is actually all we have to do, but I'm also going to turn Remote on as well. Um, and then you can do that for the output if you want as well. So it needs to look something like this. And then we can just test that by arming our track and playing some notes, but this time I'm going to play the notes on my actual keyboard. And we can see that is now working and I can tell it's working because I get this little signal up here which tells me that it's tracking uh, MIDI keyboard information. And we can see that we've got the MIDI coming through here and we've got the sound. So if I was to record this, you can see we've got these notes coming through here. So that's the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one.